Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video that we are going to deal with a centrifugal calculation. So let's move on to the video. So the very basic equation that V is equal to omega R were R is a radius of rotor and omega is angular velocity. So coming to next is centrifugal acceleration where it is equal to V square by R. And next we writing down uh, the equation for centrifugal force which is equal to mv square by r. So next we substituting the equation 2 in 3 where we uh, substitute v equals omega square r square then you will get the centrifugal force equals m omega square r square by r. Then arranging the equation, then finally you get the centrifugal force equal m omega square r as the standard equation. rpm that is rotation per minute is considered as a frequency which means that is a number of uh, rotation or number of cycles per time. Then writing down the equation that omega is equal to 2 pi f where f is frequency here we consider f as rpm so we write in case in place of f we write as rpm by 60 then we substitute omega equal 2 pi f in uh, centrifugal force that in place of that omega square we substitute 2 pi f square where f we write as rpm by 60 so we write centrifugal force equal m into 2 pi rpm divided by 60 whole square into r then we consider m as constant that is mass is constant so it can be neglected then you will get a final equation as centrifugal force is equals 4 pi square rpm square divided by 3600 into r. Substituting the values as g is equal to 980 centimeter per second square and pi as 3.1514. Then you will get an answer that is RCF equal 1.12 into 10 raised to minus 5 RPM square into R. So thereby we understand the relation between RCF and RPM. So in case of calculations uh, you can use this equation to find out RCF if uh, RPM and R is uh, provided. And same you can uh, possible to find RPM in case of RCF and R is provided. So this was a very brief video. We shown here how the RCF and RPM was related. Thanks for your watching and please subscribe on my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you so much.